What does it say? You're pregnant. Just like that, Roan. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> you I, just said you're not pregnant. I knew it. I told you. I will. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew it, Roan. Can you believe My it? My little baby is gone. Ron, are you ready for that? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. It only takes one time, Ron. I freaking knew it. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Big updates over here. YouTube, I'm sorry. You are the last to find out. I am pregnant. Who would have thunk it? Not me. <laughs> Not me. It was a bit of a surprise. So that was Dylan and I finding out and I'll go ahead and tell you guys the sto whole story. So I wasn't wanting to get pregnant until we had some of the major renovations done on the house. Probably like about now, honestly. We've got the big stuff done in the house and now it's all little stuff. But now I'm 15 weeks pregnant. The reason I wanted to wait was so that everyone didn't yell at me while we were working so that I could help, so that I could get on the roof and climb the ladders and carry the heavy things. But no, everyone yelled at me the whole time so I couldn't do anything and I basically had to watch Rowan the whole time anyways. So it didn't really make a difference. But yeah, I'm pregnant. <laughs> like I said, I'm 15 weeks now. I'm due December 4th, ended November, December. So when I went into the doctor, I thought I was eight weeks, but they said I was only seven weeks, so I was measuring smaller. So we'll see. Um, and it was a bit of a surprise. So like I said, we weren't trying. We don't use any prevention. We just do natural family planning. No, I track my ovulation on uh, the Flow app on my phone. And so it has a guesstimation of when you're ovulating. And then I have ovulating test strips at home so that I could check beforehand but this was a spur of the moment occasion because we were home for Roan's birthday and we had grandparents to watch the baby and so it only takes one time folks it only takes one time I checked my app afterwards and it was six days till ovulation high chance of pregnancy I was like Dylan you better not have just got me pregnant and look at us now it only takes one time no, but we were so happy about it. Dylan was ready to have another one and I was like, chill. First signs of pregnancy. It's so funny because this time I I didn't think I was pregnant. No way. Just this one time, six days before ovulation. Immediately, one, my nipples started hurting because I'm still breastfeeding. So I noticed that right away. My nipples were super sensitive. Two, my pants stopped fitting immediately i lost so much weight having after having roan from just breastfeeding i think i know that it's not the case for everyone but like i lost all my body fat i was the skinniest i've ever been not in a good way like people were like ali you're deteriorating i had such a nice butt before my butt was completely flat which i had never experienced <laughs> and anyways i just like lost all my body fat giving it to roan you saw those rolls he took them right out of me and so my pants stopped fitting like I was I didn't like feel like I was gaining weight but I obviously wasn't fitting in my pants like immediately <laughs> like two weeks before we would even I would even get my period and so that was weird and my nipples were super sensitive and I had to start peeing all the time and so those were the signs where I'm like I might be pregnant it's so funny because Dylan said a week before we, I even took a pregnancy test, he said he woke up one morning and he just felt this like aura. He's like, Allie's pregnant with a girl. And he just said, just woke up and felt this feminine energy. <laughs> and you were pregnant. And he didn't tell me. He said he was going to tell his friend. And he didn't tell his friend. He's like, it was just really weird, but I didn't tell anyone. 
And so a week later we were taking a pregnancy test and that's when he told me, he's like, actually, about a week ago. And so anyways, I was taking um, those little cheap pregnancy test strips to see if I was pregnant because my period was late. And I, so I was taking them and I was about to go home and they were all coming up negative. And I was like, my period must be coming. I don't know, this is so weird. And then when I got home, my period was a couple of days late, so I went and got an actual pregnancy test. And at that point, I was just like, I'm freaking pregnant. And so I feel like I kind of knew when we were taking the pregnancy test. And lo and behold, I'm pregnant. And so, I mean, we're so excited. I, I didn't feel bad or scared about it at all. Um, it was just a little bit of a surprise. <laughs> and so it was so funny. So that's how it happened. We actually know the gender also. So I got the NIPT test, the blood test, early around 12 weeks. So we just found out while we were doing the build. If it was a boy or a girl. And it's funny because Dylan felt like it was a girl this whole time. And I was like, I don't know. I just always felt like I'd be like majority boy mom, especially at first. I just felt like I was going to be, you know, have boys. And... Um, so I thought it was a boy, and then our friend Brett had a dream, um, before she even knew I was pregnant, she snapchatted me and she said, I had a dream you were pregnant with a girl. And I was like, I didn't, I didn't even tell her I was pregnant yet, okay? So I didn't even respond because I was going to respond and just tell her I was pregnant. But I ended up just forgetting and not responding at all. And so here's us finding out. I'm ready. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Are you serious? It's a girl. Hey. Hey, hey. I knew. I, I mean, everybody's dreaming around here. Yeah. So I am completely shocked that it's a girl. I, I know I wanted a girl at some point, but I just can't believe it's already. And I just feel like. I just only know how to have a boy because I have Roan. I know it's no different, but I'm just so shocked. Um, but I'm excited to have a girl and all the cute clothes. And it'll just it'll be a whole new experience. And Roan gets to be a big brother. I can't believe it. So I actually thought that I was pregnant when Roan was only 10 months old. And I was taking an ovulation test instead of a pregnancy test. I thought I was pregnant for an entire day. And I was literally heartbroken. It was like too soon. I was like... Roan is still my tiny baby like I'm so sad I can't handle this but this time around I didn't feel that way at all I was like that's all right it's you know it's a good time everything will work out and I felt way more ready this time so the the thing I'm saddest about is Roan not being my little baby he'll be such a big boy but either way he's gonna be such a big boy so I'm excited for him to have a little best friend to run around with. Okay, I think that's a gist of a lot of it. I had you guys ask questions on Instagram for me to answer, so I'm gonna answer those now. Okay, so has this pregnancy been any different than my first? And not that much. With Roan, I didn't really have a hard pregnancy at all. And with this one, I have not been sick a single day, which I just can't believe. Like, I wasn't nauseous. I haven't been nauseous at all. With Roan, I threw up a couple times eating different things, like um, my mom's eggs from her chickens or like, eating a whole pizza, so, like I had nausea here and there, and definitely through the first trimester, trimester, I had nausea with Roan, but this time around, literally nothing. I've just been exhausted. My iron was super low, so I got some things to boost my iron levels, and it hasn't been as bad, but I've just been exhausted. And then my nipples have been sore, and like those little things, but it hasn't been that different. So. That's why I also thought I was having a boy, just because the pregnancies were about the same. But yeah, it's I've been so lucky. Because I don't know how people do it when they're sick during pregnancy with another child. It's just so exhausting. I can't imagine being sick on top of it. Um, do you plan on tandem feeding? So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have been trying to wean Roan. And I've been trying to wean Roan because I'm pregnant. <laughs> and because my nipples have been so sore. And it was mostly during the first trimester when they were so sore. They're not as bad now. But I have been trying to slowly wean Roan because I do not want to tandem feed. I'm already so scared for like those first weeks, those first three months postpartum where Roan has to adjust to not 
having me full time because he is my little baby. Like he is a mama's boy. We do everything together. He spends every second. He's breastfed to sleep every single nap time at nighttime. And so I'm really nervous for the transition of him not having me one to go to sleep. That's why I really want to get the addition done so that Dylan can start practicing putting him to sleep because I feel like in those first months, Roan will become Dylan's little baby and he will have to support him in so many ways while I support the new baby. So I would really like to wean Roan, which is actually going pretty well. So for weaning, I really wanted it to be a slow, slow process. I didn't want to just cut him off at all. And so first things first, I just started telling him no sometimes because before I would just whip the boob out, feed him whenever he wanted. But I started telling him no, not right now, or saying bye bye to Milky and just like, cutting him off sometimes and then when he would ask I would start offering snacks or offering drinks of water teaching him eat so that he could say eat instead of just milk all the time and that worked really well and then we did all the construction my mom was here and so just spending less time with him or getting out of the house and doing different things or doing car having car naps lining up being in the car with nap time so that I'm not nursing him to sleep constantly um, and I think my milk has dried up a lot. So they say around four to five months, your milk supply will drop when you're pregnant. And I'm in my fourth month. And I have noticed he got his shots and then he was teething really, really bad. And at night he would want to nurse, which I always nurse him at night, we co-sleep. And he would be nursing and he would be signing for milk as he's nursing and crying. So I knew that my milk has gone down a lot. And he's also been like switching back and forth to each boob. Um, and I think it's because my milk is running out. But he's adjusting to it well because um, at night, instead of nursing, he's just falling back to sleep, not even trying to nurse. Or I'll just pat his butt and he'll fall back to sleep. And even for nap time, he'll nurse for like a minute and then he'll just pull off and just doze off to sleep. So I think it's working out exactly as I wanted it to, where it's just a slow progression of less and less. And so now he's just nursing for like one minute, you know, three minutes to fall asleep. It's nothing like it was before where he's like nursing all night or he's stuck on my boob. It's more of like there's not much milk in there, so he's comfort nursing, falling asleep, and we're just making that transition, which is what I wanted so I was I mean this has been the most stressful thing of parenting so far is weaning him because I just like feel so bad and it's so sad for me because I love nursing and so it's coming to an end but it's coming to an end in a really good way so we're still nursing throughout the day and at night but it's just short little snippets where he's falling asleep still on his own sometimes and so hopefully more and more he'll fall asleep on his own so that's how it's going I do not want to tandem feed whatsoever um no thanks I need to get some books on like this is now baby's milk and no longer Roni's milk because I do think he's going to be very jealous of a lot he is a mama's boy okay so one of the questions was what's something you think you'll uh do differently to make your lives easier and this is a big thing <laughs> I just want my life to be easy like my motto right now is let life be easy and so I was really nervous so it'll be two under two they'll be 21 months apart and I think it will be okay because Roan is starting to talk more and more I really want him to be able to communicate I really want to be him to be on his way to potty training he's on his way now he's gone in the potty a couple times and we're just slowly transitioning into that so those are some things that I really want to be like going by the time baby is here and then I've been watching some YouTube videos of other people of like suggestions on when baby comes because I just don't want Roan to feel like he's abandoned I really want him like I really want to prepare him for what's coming and so I, I want to get our bedrooms set so that uh, we can start practicing putting him in his own room, which he's never had that at all because we've never had the option for it. Um, he is a really good sleeper. Like he does nap, like he naps twice a day still. He's not hard to put to sleep and even co-sleeping. We have some bad nights where he's like just nursing nonstop, driving me crazy, but he's still a pretty good sleeper. He doesn't wake up early. He doesn't wake up in the middle of the night and like not go back to sleep. And so I want to get our bedroom set we are just gonna have two bedrooms, a kid's room and our room. And I think in the kid's room, we're just gonna put like a queen size bed on the floor. And that way 
as we transition, we can start practicing Dylan putting him to sleep because when the baby comes, I really want to just let life be easy and I want to sit in my bed with baby, with Roan, and just, I want things to be, I'm gonna be lazy, I'm gonna do nothing, and I'm just gonna spend time with a newborn and with Roan, but I need the things to be put in place where he's used to Dylan putting him to bed because for the past year and a half, I've, I've been the only one to ever put him to sleep really unless he's staying with my parents or with Dylan's parents and so we got to make that transition. Something I think we'll do differently is I think I will try to uh, use a bottle more when the baby is young and just so that I can have a break from time to time. I hate pumping, I hate washing bottles, I hate getting a bottle ready. <laughs> so that's why I don't do it because I'm purely because of my laziness, but then all of the weight falls onto me for every feeding, every nap, you know. And it's just a lot and it, it causes a lot of resentment towards your partner because you're like, I'm literally doing everything. And so it's more work sometimes, but even just using the haka and that extra feeding that extra milk especially in those beginning days I definitely think I'll introduce a bottle earlier so that Dylan can do some feeding so that I can spend some time either alone or with Roan I really want to have alone time with Roan so that he doesn't feel abandoned I had a really smooth time with Roan he was a really easy baby honestly and we did the sidecar bassinet and then we co started co-sleeping around probably like three months once he was like not so fragile and little and I, I think I'm going to probably do the same. I'm just going to follow my intuition. Whatever is easiest, that's what I'm going to do. Baby wearing all the time. Um, breastfeeding because it's easy. But I definitely will introduce a bottle. I'll introduce a pacifier. Those were things I was nervous about doing. But, I mean, once you're set breastfeeding and they have a good lash, give them that binky, give them that bottle so that they can get used to it. And those are lifesavers. But not much else that I think I will do differently. I definitely want to get a Moses basket uh, this time that fits on our stand so that I can move the baby around the house. That's something I held off on last time, but I think that I will use a lot now that our house is bigger and bringing the baby inside and outside and keep him out of reach of Roan. So I just like to keep it super simple. We already have everything we need and I'm just excited to buy cute girl clothes and get hand-me-downs. We got a lot of girl cousins, so I'm excited for all the hand-me-downs we get to go through. Will the kids have their own rooms? No, <laughs> no. And probably not for who knows how long. I'm not worried about it. They'll be sleeping in our room probably for years anyways. Some things we bought and didn't need. Um, like bottle wash stations, like bottle drying racks, that was unnecessary because they just get washed with everything else. Uh, just a lot of the doodads. Didn't use a whole lot of doodads. I barely even used my haka, but I think I will use it this time. We used our snuggle me. Just having places to set the baby down. And this time it'll be important to like keep the baby safe from Roan. Not that he's like aggressive or anything, but you know, just in case you're not, can't always watch them. I will have to go through my, I should go through my baby registry and tell you all the things I didn't use. That's what I should do. This video is already going to be really long, so I will do that in a separate video. Was it planned? Is it your last kid? Are your goals to at least have the bedrooms finished before baby comes? Yeah, I would love to have the whole house finished. Definitely the bedrooms are my first priority. Hopefully we get those done in within the month. And that way we can work on the bathroom and then after the bathroom we can work on the kitchen. This is not my last kid. I would be so sad if this is my last kid, my last pregnancy. Um, I don't think so. Who knows? I've never had two kids, so we'll see. But I'm like a three to four kid type of gal, I think. Um, do you worry about your body's body having babies so close? And yes, this is something that I... I wanted to wait till at least a year and a half just so my body can heal, especially because my placenta didn't deliver the last time. So I had to get a DNC and they had to go in my uterus and suck out my placenta. So I really wanted time for my body to heal. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to wait. They say at least a year and a half so that your uterus can heal properly. And so that was something I was worried about. And I think that's the reason that my iron is so low along with like breastfeeding and not having a, you know, a long time between pregnancies but it is what it is now <laughs> all 
All right, that was the majority of questions. Like I said, I'll have to go through my baby registry and tell you guys all the things I didn't use, which is actually probably a lot of stuff. So I'll go through my favorites, what I'm definitely gonna use again, what I'm not gonna use. Look for that in a future video. But that is all for now. Got you guys updated on the baby. I'll try to show you my bump, let's see. You definitely show so much faster the second time around. Like it is unbelievable. After I eat, especially I'm huge, but I mean, when I wake up in the morning, it's not that different, but I got a little belly going on. There ain't much there, especially because I haven't eat. I've only had like half a bagel today. I really shocked people when I posted on Instagram that video because that was after a steak dinner and I was popping. But it's not that. It's not that big. Not big at all. Yeah. So thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time. Got a lot going on over here, so. Subscribe if you haven't, and thanks.